Hello, this is Cody Havern with the University of Memphis, and I want to talk to you about a project and a paper I wrote with Carissa Baker, Daniel Wan, and Frederick Grieve that will be published in the Journal of Themed Experience and Attraction Studies. The paper is called When the Magic Closes, examining how Disney fans coped with theme park and resort closures amid the COVID-19 pandemic. So what we wanted to do with this is much like all parts of society, um, themed entertainment and theme parks and attractions were significantly impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. And so we set out to conduct a qualitative study of how Disney fans chose to cope with the closures of the parks and resorts um, and how they were looking forward to the reopenings of the parks and the future of the parks. And what we found is when we talked about or when we asked people about how they coped with the closures of the parks, a lot of people mentioned either searching for content online, whether that was through social media and different social media groups, fan groups that they are members of, whether they were looking for content on YouTube um, or other sites like that. And obviously, um, also the, the introduction of Disney Plus before the pandemic really helped a lot of people in the United States, in particular, cope with the fact that they could not attend the parks and resorts during the early portion or the early part of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, when we talked about reopening the parks, a lot of people expressed a lot of trust, a great deal of trust in the Walt Disney Company saying that they were not going to do something that was going to hurt the company. They weren't going to do something that was going to negatively impact guests or cast members. And so they felt just like Disney was doing, making the right moves in closing the parks initially. And those closures helped to kind of make people take the pandemic seriously in the early days of the pandemic. They also felt that the company had the best intentions in mind with reopening the parks. And so some of the things to look out for, some of the practical implications of this are um, this really idea of strong brand identity and people being very, very highly identified and strongly identified with the Disney brand, which led to that high amount of trust that they had in the brand and in the brand's movements um, going forward and reopening the parks. And then also the importance of brands being able to engage with fans and consumers in different ways. Um, now, obviously, the Walt Disney Company was able to continue engaging with their consumers and with their fans through Disney Plus, the streaming service, um, whereas I know some other companies and practitioners may not have those means, but practitioners should always be looking for ways to engage with their consumers and with their supporters in multiple ways in case one of those mediums is taken away. Practitioners have other ways that they can also contact with their stakeholders. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of your day.